If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question before listening on. We can begin to solve the question by drawing a picture of the situation being described. So here we have an electron that's being released from rest and that makes its initial velocity zero. We're trying to determine the final velocity after the electron has accelerated a displacement marked delta x. Now we know the time, so actually the first part of the question becomes a kinematics question. We know that the displacement of an object would equal its average velocity multiplied by its time. We can solve this equation for the final velocity by first multiplying both sides by 2. We could then divide both sides by t. And since the initial velocity was 0, we can eliminate this term from the equation. And so to calculate the final velocity, we simply need to plug in the displacement, which was given to us in terms of centimeters, and then the time, which was given to us in seconds. And when we simplify that final velocity, we can see that it is equal to approximately 2.7 times 10 to the positive 6 meters per second. So that would be the correct answer to part A. To calculate the magnitude of the electric field, we recall that the electric field is equal to the force acting on the charged particle divided by the charge itself. Now, the charge itself would be relatively straightforward because it's an electron, so we know the charge of an electron. We just need to calculate the force that's acting on the electron. Well, according to Newton's second law, we know that the force is equal to the mass of the particle times its acceleration. So we could rewrite the electric field equation in the following way. We're going to once again refer to kinematics to come up with an expression for the acceleration. We know this equation describes the motion of a particle undergoing constant acceleration. The initial velocity of this particle once again was zero, so this term can be eliminated. We'll multiply both sides of this equation by two. We'll then divide by t squared to solve for a. So we can take this expression for the acceleration of the electron and plug it into a of our electric field equation. Once we have this expression, we can substitute in the known values for the mass of the electron, the displacement, the time, and then the charge. And when we simplify this, we get an electric field of approximately 1.0 times 10 to the positive 3 newtons per coulomb. And that is indeed the correct answer to part b. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You're welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I will do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.